girls and guys, it is Sarah from Style Let's Play, and we are back with another episode of the 100 Baby Challenge. And we have had all our five babies with Carmen already. We had Ricky, Julia, Sophia, Zach, and Sada Jr. So we had three girls and two boys. And now that I've had five kids with Carmen, part of the rules of the 100 Baby Challenge are that you have to find another spouse. So it is time to say goodbye to Carmen and say hello to another man. So first, in order to get a divorce, I need to find Carmen because I need to tell him the news. I'm going to take the cleric with me and I guarantee he's going to be hiding somewhere because he knows what time it is. He knows it's that time for that divorce. He knows, but you know what? It's time. Carmen and I, we just, we didn't vibe, you know? Oh, here he is. All right, Carmen, let's take you somewhere else, okay? I'm about to break his heart. All right, let's go somewhere alone. Don't worry, I'm not gonna kill you, okay? Let's let's go on the, the, the road. This isn't the yellow brick road, but it's okay. All right, so, Carmen, I'll let you kiss me one more time before we get a divorce, okay? He falls in love with me every time, but too bad. It's over between us. Let's stay like this forever. I'm sorry, but it's over. Is it too late now to say sorry? But I'm getting a divorce. All right, so Mr. Cleric Guy, I like to ask you that I want a divorce from my spouse. As you wish, may you find love somewhere else. I'm sorry, Carmen. Wait. Excuse me. Uh. I asked for a divorce. You're not married to anyone. But it says husband. It says he's my husband. Can you sort your life out? Mister, I, I can't, I'm married already. I'm, I'm still married to this man. I don't want to be married. Can you please get me divorced? Divorce him. You know, I don't, it's, he's still calling me, he's still calling me baby. He's like, I love you, baby. Oh my gosh. There's no way I'm going to get rid of him. All right. Okay. Mr. Priest, thank you for your services. I need you to go away because what I'm about to do is probably against the law. Okay, go, go, please go away. Fly. Mr. Priest, go away. All right, so you see, I know this sounds kind of harsh, but I can't really like go around town flirting with the other men if Carmen is still around. And I don't want to be a murderer, so I'm not going to kill him. Instead, I'm just going to bury him in a little hole until I could get the divorce papers sorted out. Don't worry, Carmen. I'll be back for you, okay? Just go on in there. Don't be scared. Don't be scared, Carmen, okay? It's gonna be all right. Okay, you just go right in there. Yeah? You look tired? I know, I know. It's because I'm burying you. Oh, sorry, Carmen. I didn't mean to do that. I didn't mean to do that. That was an accident. I'm just gonna bury you a little bit. Nothing too crazy. Look, I'll give you a torch. Okay? Stop! No! Oh my gosh, he's shouting at me to stop. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. Okay, I'll leave you a little hole for light, okay? There you go. Please don't ever tell anybody about this. It'll be our little secret. All right, so, oh, uh, this is awkward. Well, now that you know I got a divorce, it's time to find a new husband. So let's see who looks interesting around here. Ernest the warrior? Oh, Ernest, you're a warrior, I see. I like a warrior because warriors could protect my children and my family. All right, so let's just see what we have in common, yeah? You want to go on a little date, Ernest? You want to go on a little date? Let's go on a little date, okay? We're going to go to the lake, okay? Oh, oh, oh it's turning nighttime. Okay, actually, Ernest, um, I, don't move from here. Because I don't want you to get, you know, stolen by another woman. So I want you to stay right here and I'll be back tomorrow for our cute little romantic date, okay? Don't worry, I will have a proper date. This is just a getting to know you date, but the next one will be our official date where he's going to marry me. I guarantee it, because there's no way he's going to say no to me. All right, so it is getting late. It's not fully nighttime yet, which means uh, we can't go to sleep just yet. We've got our boy, Zachary, over here. Where's our girl? Where's our girl? Okay, our girls are over there. Uh, Ricky, I don't know where he is, but he will be teleporting to his room, so it should be fine. Hey, Zachary, what are you doing, huh? I'm going to be just like you when I grow up. <gasps> oh, no, Carmen's going to teleport to the house. I need to get there in time. I'm not going to get to the hole in time. Oh, no, where is it? All right, Carmen. Okay, let's set his home there. Okay, we did it. 
I didn't want to teleport him back to our house when it turns nighttime. That would have been so bad. All right, so <laughs> we're back at the house. It's nighttime now. The kids are here. Uh, Ricky, Zachary are in here. We got uh, Sophia, we got Sai Jr. and Julia are all there. So all our kids are nice and safe. Which is, that's the most important thing. That's all that matters in the world to me right now is that my children are safe. All right, so there we go. We're nice and safe. So now Ernest and I, you know, I want to impress him though. He's a warrior. So he's going to, I want to get my armor on. So he's like, ooh, who's that lady right there wearing that real good armor right there? And I'm going to be like, hey, it's me. I could be your boo. All right, so let's open this door right here and let me make my armor. So I look real impressive to him. I want to look real super cute, you know, so he can't resist me when I ask him to be my boyfriend. All right, there we go. So all I need is some boots. Oh, yes, girl. You know, I'm covering up all my curves, but that's okay. If he loves me for me, he'll accept me no matter what. All right, there we go. So I've got my armor on now. Maybe I should make him a little armor, but I don't know. We have to make sure he's worth it first because if he's not a nice person, I'm not going to sit there and waste my iron on him. All right, so let's go over to the lake, you know, let's go over to the lake we're gonna have a little chit chat get to know each other Ernest. see if you're worth my time see if you're gonna be the baby daddy to my next five children i know you should probably not talk about this stuff on the first date but you know you gotta put all this stuff out there on the table so he knows all right well it's not really a lake it's like a ratchet pond but it's okay all right so hi Ernest. how you doing my dream is to build my own village, but I'm still lazy. Well, the good thing, Ernest, is that I'm a strong, independent woman, and I am not lazy at all, and I will build your village. Not really, but I'll tell you what you need to hear in order so you could date me. You want to hear a little joke? Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, it's funny, isn't it? Why are you crying? Why are you unhappy? I thought I told you a joke. It should be funny. You want to hear a story? I don't get it. Ernest, you're supposed to be friendly. Friendly people are supposed to be nice. Okay, don't be calling me a show-off, Ernest. You better stop. You want to shake my hand? Your grip shows me you have great power. Yes, I do. I give nice firm handshakes. Don't be intimidated, okay? He's still very unhappy. Um, what do you want? Do you want like I didn't I didn't want him to be a gold digger already, but if I gotta do this, fine. A gift for me? How nice. Exactly. I'm here to give you all the gifts. I could give you the world, Ernest. If you just be with me, be my husband, I will give you everything you've ever dreamt of. Mm. Why am I giving it to you? Because I want you to love me. That's why. And I've realized the men around here, all they want is my iron. You know, you're not that cool. Mm. Ernest. <laughs> you know I brought you out here so that if you rejected me, I could kill you. I'm just kidding. <laughs> but, um, okay, Ernest. I don't even know if you're worth my time right now because you're being kind of rude. I don't want that. Why would I? As much as I liked Ernest, he is not a nice guy. I try to bribe him. I try to tell him jokes. I try to be funny. I try to tell him stories. And he's just not having none of it. We got to move on to the next person. Because obviously, he wants nothing to do with me. And I don't, I don't appreciate that. All right. So let's go find the next man. The next potential husband. All right. So let's see. Who do we have? Who do we have here? Let's see. To be honest... There are not that many people left. Like, I feel like... Oh, wait. There's a guy right there. Hello, Rudy. Hey, Rudy. You're single and ready to mingle, which I appreciate because I don't want to be stealing nobody's man. So, how you doing? My dream is that they always tell me the same thing. I get a different line, you know? Um, man, cookies and milk does sound delicious right now. I know, right? It sounds so good. I love cookies and milk. You want to hear a joke? I got a really fun, funny one. Knock, knock, who's there? The best I've ever heard. I think you're the guy for me. I think. All right, so, Rudy, I'd like to ask you on a date tomorrow. Would you like to go on a date with me? It's a nice little romantic picnic. I take that as a no, but I was trying to invite you to a date. Um, <clears throat> that's my mother you're talking about. Okay, is it my? Do I smell bad? Is it because I got all this armor on? Cause you can't see my face. Is this what it is? Yeah, they don't like me wearing armor. Maybe they, you know what? I think they're intimidated by a strong, independent woman. They're like, oh no, I'm kind of scared of her. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I know. Ooh. You scared me, Jan. 
you just like popped out of nowhere okay so i'm gonna give him some breathing space mostly because he's not being that friendly with me right now i'm gonna make him some bread i think bread is a good way to his heart and then i'm also gonna try to get the divorce papers because we've got to make this divorce official maybe that's why they don't like me because here i am flirting with them and they all know i'm married see he didn't even want my bread all right so obviously that didn't work out I need the divorce papers right now. All right, so I did some talking around the town and it turns out Kirby sells divorce papers. So I have to give her two diamonds for it, but she actually handed them to me. They're right here. So I'm about to gift it to Carmen. I don't know how he's gonna take it. Probably not well. I mean, I have him, I buried him in the hole, which is not very nice and stuff, I know, but I had to keep him away. Uh, let's see if he's still there. He's not dead, is he? No, he's not dead. Okay, so let's go ahead. Sada, you're back. I missed you. Why is he being so sweet to me now? Now I'm going to feel guilty divorcing him, but I have to divorce him. Come on. Come over here. Come here. I want you to come up here. I'm going to set you free. Carmen, I'm really sorry to have to do this, but the relationship just isn't working anymore. Carmen, please look at me. Thank you. I'm sorry, but don't walk away from me, Carmen. Please, I'm sorry that this, the relationship is over, but sometimes things have to come to an end. Okay, they need to stop telling me I'm not married because I am clearly married to Carmen right now. It still says I'm his husband. Okay, excuse me, uh, Mr. Priest guy. I want a refund on what I paid you for the divorce because it did not work. And I think you broke my game, okay? I know how to fix it, but I think you broke it. So can you come over? I'm gonna go do another guy. I'm gonna go to Jan. Jan, can you give me a divorce, please? Because I don't know what the other guy did, but he didn't give me a divorce. He gave me something else. I'm not married anymore? I think I am. I'm gonna go check and see if I'm still married with Carmen, and I guarantee I'm still gonna be married to him. So this didn't even work. It's like I'm destined to be with him for the rest of my life, but it's like I gotta move on. I know what we had was special, but it's over now. It's over. You have to move on with your life. I don't want to be your wife anymore, Carmen. I'm sorry. <sighs> he just doesn't get it. He just doesn't want this relationship to be over. He just does not want it to be over. <laughs> all right. <laughs> In all seriousness, I think there's a little glitch to the game right now. I do know a way to fix it. And if you do happen to like play uh, MCA and stuff and you're wondering how to fix it, basically you have to go into the config and you have to reset it from in there. So I think that's what I'm going to have to do. Now, I don't know if this is the case, but maybe that's why all the men hate me because I'm still married technically. And maybe they know and that they're like, why she flirted with me when she's already married? I don't know what's going on, but they don't like me. And I, right now, I don't know who I should give a chance. Look, I want you guys in the comments down below to tell me who I should marry next. So we could marry Clay right here. Clay the farmer, you know, he has his little farms. We could marry Rudy. Or we could marry Ernest. I mean, there's something about Ernest. You know, he's like a bad boy and I kind of like him and stuff. But he isn't very nice. So I don't know. Are you team Ernest or no team Ernest? Let me know in the comments down below. But anyway, you guys, until I get the config fixed, there's not much we could do because I can't get a divorce from my husband. And I need to because I want it to be over once and for all. So I'm going to have to go ahead and end it here. I hope you guys had fun watching. If you did, make sure to like, comment, and share. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.